Roger, that I welcome you in behalf of, uh, it's a good thing I made you wear those cuffs, Colonel White and the good people of Sundance. Oh, why couldn't the Colonel got somebody else to welcome that Baron? Well, there isn't anyone else in Sundance that's fit to welcome Raleigh but you, Speedy. It is with extreme... Hey, lucky my sky piece. It is with extreme pleasure that I would. It's a Paul Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Why, folks, you all know Speedy McGinnis. Huh? Yeah, but that's not Speedy. <laughs> The next critter that lays a hand on my sky piece is inviting trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Louder, partner! <laughs> Cassidy? How are you, Zeke? What's going on here? Friends of yours, Speedy and Lucky. Yeah, I know, but how are they doing? Last time I looked, they weren't doing so good. Oh. Hey, boy, why did you under this? I'm just cutting it. Yeah. Happy, what are you doing in this part of the... On my way to see Colonel White. About what? I won't know till I get there. Where's Speedy? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Come on. There's the train. Here she comes, fellas. Come on. Hey, come out of there. There you are. Yeah, I bet you look right fancy before the ruckus. What are you decked out for, anyhow? I'm meeting Royalty. What do you mean, Royalty? Yeah, Baron Render. He's come up maybe to buy the Colonel's stock of horses. But if he does, he's doing me out of a trip to San Francisco. How come? Well, I was going to take the horses up to auction. Hey, I wouldn't mind making a trip like that with you myself. Well, you'd come in right handy. You could bet him down at night. Here he comes, here he comes.
Honor, it is with extreme... Uh, uh, your Honor... Oh, shucks. Hi, Baron. <laughs> Bye, thank you. your message to Winnemucca. This is Johnson and Snell. Well, don't talk to me here. Do you want to rouse suspicion? Well, he was only going to tell you who... Meet me later at the hotel. I'm turning you over to law. Oh, what did I do? You're going to jail for stealing a ride. That's all. What's the trouble? This is the third time I put him off since Salt Lake, and I warned him. Come along, Sonny. Come on. Well, they don't look very intelligent, but if they carry out orders... Hey, Speedy. I don't think you're displaying very good manners, leaving your uh, distinguished guest there all alone. Why, I plumb forgot him. Mr. Van, this is Lucky. Colonel White's top hand. Okay. And that's Hopalong Cassidy. Mr. Cassidy. Baron, Colonel White's expecting you out to the ranch. If you're ready, we'll leave. I would be most delighted. What? I better be getting along. See you later, Hobby. Right over here, Baron. Thank you. Say, well, I thought you were a boy. Well, thanks a lot for that ride, mister. That was mighty close. Well, that's all right. Say, would you please hurry up and get me out of here before that marshal catches up to me? Where are you heading? I'm looking for a Colonel White. Do you know him? Colonel White? What do you want with him? I want to see him. Now, if you want to see Colonel White, what were you heading out of town on that freight train for? Well, I don't want to be in jail when I see him. Oh, <laughs> I see. Nice going, Hoppy. That's Lucky Jenkins. He works for Colonel White. Yeah. There you are. Say, that sure was a close one. Oh, boy, a girl. Now, don't get excited. She's on her way out to Colonel White. She's in luck. That's where we're going. Do you want to come along? Sure, go right with him. Thanks. See you at the ranch. Okay, Bye. Hoppy. sounded pretty important. Say, uh, what's this I hear about you uh, shipping horses to San Francisco? I've never known you to sell any horses at auction. Well, I hadn't any choice. Banks demand payment. Well, I thought after you sold that 5,000 acres the other side of the pass, that straightened you all out. Still paying for that mining venture. Oh, it's my own fault. Nobody to blame but myself. That's too bad. Whoa. Say, 
Say, I wonder if there isn't some place around here I could go and kind of clean up before I see my... the Colonel. Well, you look mighty... Sure, I could take you over to the bunkhouse. Could you? Here, Speedy. If you take the Baron up to the house. Yep. I regret I wasn't able to meet you at the station. Uh, my friend, uh, hop along, Cassidy. Come on, that pleasure we have already had. And Mr. Cole. Uh, uh, would you come inside and have a little refreshment? If you do not mind, I would like to look the stock over now. You see, I have not much time. Why, yes, of course, but uh, I'm curious to know why you came all this way to see my horses. Uh, do you want them for breeding or racing? You see, I represent a European syndicate which is interested in establishing sulky racing in Europe. Your horses were most highly recommended to me, especially a horse called, uh, how you name him, Warlock. <coughs> a great horse. Champion three-year-old who has never lost a race. But I am most anxious to see him. Oh, I, I go with you, but this uh, imposed handicaps me. <laughs> it is perfectly all right. Upon our return, we shall see you. This way, Your Honor. And Speedy. On his warlock to the sulky, and have Lucky show him to these gentlemen. Sure will. You'll see the fastest horse you ever saw. Oh, boy. Here you are. Towel and soap. You go right inside and make yourself at home. Oh, thanks a lot. This is mighty nice of you, Mr. Lucky. If you need anything else, you just holler. Thanks. All right, you fellas, get to work. There's plenty to be done around here. Go and tell Lucky I want to see him. Right away. Hey, Lucky, Speedy wants to see you over at the stables. All right. And that's why I sent for you. If the Baron doesn't buy the horses, I want you to handle the shipping of them to San Francisco. But I thought Lucky was going to handle that job. Too many temptations for the boy. There's so much at stake, I just can't afford to risk the chance. I don't think you're taking any chance, Colonel. If I didn't think the boy could handle the job, I certainly wouldn't have recommended him. I'd be a ruined man if anything went wrong. You will handle the shipment if I need you. I just don't feel right about it. I'd feel better if I could depend on you. I'll speak to Lucky uh, so he'll understand. Oh, I'd rather you wouldn't say anything to Lucky yet. I'll, um, I'll see that they get there. Oh, Colonel, uh, here's a young lady I think wants to see you. Colonel yes. Hoy? I'm Sue Willard. Your niece, your sister Alice's daughter. Alice. It's been a long, long time. This is a niece of mine. Yes, I met her this morning, accidental like. I picked her off the, uh, I mean, I picked her out of the crowd at the depot. Tell me, how is your mother? Oh, didn't you know? She died just three months ago. Didn't you get the letter? Well, no. This is the first I've heard of it. Well, that's strange. I, that lawyer said that he'd write you. It's been over 30 years since I last heard from her. Arguments and cussed stubbornness certainly have broken up a lot of families.
Well, how'd you like him, Byrne? Magnificent. I am well pleased with the Colonel's stock. Well, does that mean you're going to buy him? Well, I, I will discuss that subject with the Colonel. All right. Well, let's put it away, Speedy. There's a dozen horses there that we can race at every county fair in the country. They're sure winners. Beautiful stock. They're even beyond my expectations. And did you notice? Not one of them had any markings that could be easily recognized. <laughs> All we have to do is change their names. If we bet discreetly, we can make a fortune. But why wait till the Colonel starts them to the auction? I'll make we... the plans. And I don't want you to feel that you're intruding. You're more than welcome. Oh, thank you, Uncle Ruth. <laughs> Oh, I know you gentlemen want to talk, so I think I'll go look over the place. Well, what do you think of Warlock, Baron? You have some fine-looking horses, Colonel White. I am very much interested. I will give you my answer in a few days. But, Colonel, if you wait more than 48 hours, you'll be too late for the auction. I will cable my associates and try to get an answer immediately. And now, Colonel White, could we be driven back to the hotel? Oh, won't you stay for lunch? <laughs> Every moment count. And I want to get an answer to my cable as soon as possible. I'll have Lucky get the buckboard ready. Uh, he'll only be a moment. Uh, sit down and uh, we, we'll have a little refreshment. Hello, Cassidy. Hey, have you sent any cables to Europe today? To Europe? Boy, we ain't sent anything like that out of this town in the 30 years I've been here. Just what I figured. Thanks. Come on, Speedy, we got some work to do. How long will it take for you to get your men together? Don't worry about my men. All I need to know is what time those horses are leaving and what trail they're taking to the railroad side. Well, that's the information I hope to get for you tomorrow. That's fine. The sooner the better. Meanwhile, no more fights. You fellas better lie low for a while. Apparently, Harry's arranged a card game. I shall try my luck. May I join you, gentlemen? Welcome, Mr. Cassidy. I am just learning this fascinating American game called poker. Won't you join it? Well, so long as it's sociable, I don't mind. So far, my luck has been uh, not so good. But I suppose one must pay to learn. Yeah, so I've heard. What's the limit? No limit. Uh, this is a social game. I expect to have an answer to my cable not later than tomorrow afternoon. I don't see how that's possible. Pass. I open it. I'll double that. Mr. Cassidy, I call that and raise you one hundred dollar. It's too high for me. Call the 
hundred. And raise you three hundred. Is rather exciting. I hope I am not being a stupid. However, one must pay for one's mistake. I call that and raise you, Mr. Cassidy, one hundred dollar. Take advantage of you, Baron. This was your idea. I call the hundred. Raise you five hundred. I suppose it is now time to draw the card? That's customary. I'll take two. How many cards, Baron? Two. Just a minute. I asked for two cards. Now take those. Check to you, Baron. Thanks. I guess you just wasn't playing beginner's luck. Hey. You, you won. Sure. Must be new rules. <laughs> you split up them four aces, or was it the liquor I was drinking? That's so loud, Speedy. It wasn't the liquor you were drinking. The deck was stacked. Got a pencil? Now, here's what happened. Harry dealt me four aces, so I'm supposed to stand pat. That leaves the next two cards on the top of the deck for the Baron. You get it? Now, if the Baron gets those two cards, that gives him a straight flush, doesn't it? So my four aces are not worth any more than the twitch of a jackrabbit's nose. I break up my four aces, get the two cards that are supposed to go to the Baron, leaving him with nothing. How do you get it? Sure, I get it. But there's still one thing that's bothering me. What's that? Why'd you throw away that other ace? Come on. I want that money back. And if he makes any trouble and you let him have it, well, that'll suit me fine. Leave it to us. Come on, boys.
we'd better stop for a while? Oh, no. I'm having a wonderful time. Oh, were you uncomfortable? You're just not used to riding double. Hey, have yourself a drink. He won't drink with anybody on him. Now, if you want me to get off, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Half as pretty here as. As what, Lucky? A lot of the other places around. Oh, I thought you might have met me. I don't see him or hear him. Maybe Cassidy knowed we was out to get him. Yeah. Well, what do we get out of this? The Baron hired us for wrestling, not robbing. Well, he's got to go through Rocky Pass. We'll get him there. Come on. Time. Me too. Just throw your foot over that horn. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I've got to learn how to ride a horse. Lucky, will you teach me? Sure. But don't you like to ride double? Of course I do. But you said to tie the horse out. Oh, did I say that? Mm -hmm. Why, Lucky? Well, he could get used to it. And what over? You know what I mean. Hand over the money. Throw it back here. Now get going and keep your faces to the front. Get going. Speedy, I never felt better in my life. I don't believe it. First you split up four aces and then mark up the money, and now you hand it over without even raising a finger. <laughs> Let's go get them coyotes. Ah, oh, take it easy, Speedy. You know I'm gonna hunch that money's coming right back to it. Huh? Sure. Come on.
dressed up. Yeah, mm. I look like one of Speedy's shirts. Yes, and I can't keep the shirt tail. <laughs> <laughs> Is that howling out there bothering you? Mm-mm, I like it. You do, huh? Sit down here. Give him a good workout. Yes, sir. Some mail for you, Colonel. Oh, thanks, thanks. to town and tell the marshal I want to see him at once. Something wrong? But I'm telling you the truth. I am your niece. Well, how else would I know about you? Why would I come here? Oh, Guru, if you've got to believe me. I am not your uncle. What seems to be the trouble, Colonel? Marshal, I learned last night that this little urchin broke away from you at the station yesterday. By golly, you're right. I thought she was a boy. Huh. What's she doing here? Claims she's my niece. Imposed on my hospitality. She's an imposter. Oh, he's not telling the truth. I am his niece. And if he doesn't want me here, I'll go. She's a little adventurous and should be sent on her way. Well, I'll take her and lock her up before she can work any more tricks. Come along, Missy. Well, I can prove who I am. I haven't done anything wrong. You can't put me in jail. You can't deny you were stealing a ride. That's again the law. Come on. Oh, Guru, please. No excuse for holding her hand. Oh, uh, I didn't understand. What do you mean you didn't understand? <laughs> the, the, the marshal just took Sue away with him. Well, you must be mistaken. What, what would the marshal want with her? I don't know, but he's got her. Speedy, I think you're still seeing aces. Come on, we'll find out. Here, hold this, Speedy. What must I do with him? Colonel, we just heard that Sue left with the marshal. Wanted to find out what was wrong. 
There's a lot wrong. I've been taken in by that little scamp. Checked up and found out she wasn't my niece. Nothing else to do but turn her over to the marshal. Well, she don't look like that kind of a girl. You can't tell by looking at these young scallywags just what they're up to. She's not that kind of a girl. I can tell by looking at her. Marty. What do you know about it? I can't understand why she'd go to all the trouble to... Uh... Well, Colonel. You know, it's a very fortunate thing that the Colonel sent for me. It's going to give me a chance to find out about the movement of the horses. I hope Cassidy ain't around when you start asking questions. Hey, will you stop worrying about Cassidy? I can take care of him. You didn't take care of him so well in that poker game. Well, it was an accident. The man's a fool. Or else, why did he break up four aces? There you are, Colonel. Drink it right down. It's been too much for me, I guess. Ah, uh, you'll be all right now. That was kind of a jolt to all of us. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, come in, come in. Uh, uh, excuse me. A little spell. Oh, I'm so sorry. I trust that it is not anything too serious. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, sit down, gentlemen. Sit down. Thank you. I, uh, I sent for you, Baron, uh, the, owing to the suggestion of Mr. Cassidy. He feels. We can't wait any longer to start the shipment. Well, that is a big shame. As I am positive, my associates will accept my recommendation. Well, if you're so positive about it, why not put up some money to show good faith? A splendid suggestion. And to satisfy Mr. Cassidy's anxiety, and to show my complete sincerity, to that request, I say yes. Will uh, $1,000 be sufficient, my dear Colonel? Oh, that'll be fine. $1,000 will hardly repay me for missing the auction. But if you're figuring on using this money, it's no good. That thing called for an explanation, Mr. Cassidy. That's easy. This money was stolen from me yesterday. What makes you think that is the money? Because I marked it, Colonel. But I didn't think it'd show up so convenient-like. Are you inferring that I stole that money? I'm inferring that you're at the head of a gang of outlaws that did. Now, with the Colonel's permission, I'll throw you out of here. Why, you big... I'll give you an hour to get out of town. Go on! Well, I at least got my, uh... What, Colonel? Hi, Marshal. Say, I'm sure sorry to hear about the Colonel dropping dead. Yeah, it's pretty sudden. You're gonna have to let that girl out of here. No, wait a minute, Cassidy. According to law, you... Just can... a minute. If you read this, I think that'll take care of your law. Why, this says the gal's a legal heir to the ranch. That's right. Where'd you get this? The coroner found it on the Colonel's body. Well, I'll be doggone. Yeah, me too. I always thought the Colonel was one of the squarest men I ever knew. Yeah? Well, come on, get her out of there. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Is he talking? 
telling the truth, can I go now? Sure. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry it happened. Oh, it's all right. Well, now that you're a free woman, what would you like to do? Well, I'd like to go out and get me some decent duds. Good. That's just what we'll do. Oh, thanks, Michael. Bye. So, you see, I figured the Colonel was trying to cash in on everything before you claimed it. Yeah. Well, we might as well let Lucky go ahead and sell the horses. I never would be able to wash the ranch. I can't even ride a horse. Not yet. <laughs> you know, miss, I was just thinking. He might run into some trouble when he starts moving them horses. As so long as I'm here, uh, how about letting me back him up? Back him up? Yeah, you know, kind of stay in the background, just in case. Oh, that would be fine, Mr. Hobby. Good. You think a lot of Lucky, don't you? You bet I do. But don't let him know I'm in on this. He might not understand. <laughs> All right. So I'm selling the horses and going back east. Well, that sort of fits in with my plan. I've always had a hanker to go east myself. Well, I guess you kids don't need to be around here. I'm going to take a walk over to the stable. <laughs> well, you're going down and get the horses ready to move? Hey, wait a minute. Moving those horses is my job. I'm top man around here. Oh, Lucky, of course you're top man here, but... Oh, I get it. It's you and him. I saw you holding hands the other night. Oh, now, take Lucky. it easy, Lucky. It's him that gets you out of jail. Now he's moving the horses. You don't need me around here. I quit. Oh, Lucky. You see, that's why I told you not to say anything to him. I knew he wouldn't understand. Well, we can't let him go like that. Ah, we we'll let him cool off for a while. You run in the house. Don't worry about a thing. How do you do, my friend? Hello, Baron. I was indeed sorry to learn about the Colonel. Well, too bad, wasn't it? Won't you join me in a drink? No. Oh, <laughs> won't you join me while I have a drink? One whiskey. some time, I suppose, before the estate is, uh, what you say, liquidated. Uh, they're moving the horses tonight. So? Yeah, but I'm not going. I quit. Cassidy's handling the whole thing. Mr. Lucky, how would you like to, to work for me? Doing what? I expect to buy the horses at the auction, and I would like very much for you to manage the shipment east for me. Why not? I got to see you. What are you doing with him? I'm just taking a job with him. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to take that shipment to San Francisco. Yeah, who said so? Hoppy. Oh. He told me to tell you. Oh, so he finally had to admit that somebody else is big enough for the job besides himself, huh? I reckon so. Let's get going. Wait a minute. Oh, Baron, I won't be able to take that job after all. They need me out to the ranch. Oh, what a pity. Can you not have one drink before you go? Nope. I've got to start moving those horses so I can make Spring Ranch by tonight. Oh, are you not going to load them here? No, we're going to load them at Yellow River Junction. That's where we catch the train to San Francisco. Well, good luck. Thanks. And thanks for the offer, too. Now, the reason I'm letting Lucky do this is so that he can get a chance to prove himself. We'll give him all the protection we can give him. Now, if there's any trouble, it'll be near the top of the pass. I'm going up to Pine Ridge tonight. That's beyond there. We'll be back to pass by daybreak. That's fine. Round up the rest of the boys. We might as well get started right away.
He seems to be feeling pretty good. You made the trip here to Spring Ranch in fine shape, Speedy. Much better than I did. Well, if you're gonna stand the first watch, I'll be hitting the hay. I need my beauty sleep. You're telling me? What brings you here? I had hoped to find you here, my friend. I came to inquire if you would reconsider taking horses east for me after the auction. Well, I sort of planned on going back to the ranch, oh, Bert. I could pay you well. Well, it ain't the money, is it? It could not by any chance be a girl? Maybe. Oh, I, I had no idea she was your friend. I thought that... You thought what? In that case, I had best not say anything. Well, if you know something, Baron, let's hear it. Did it not occur to you that Mr. Cassidy suddenly changed his mind for selfish reasons? I don't know. With you out of the running, he has clear field to himself with the pretty young heiress. Well, it doesn't bother me any. I, I don't care. Oh, after all, it is none of my business. I am only interested in you reconsidering my proposition. Well, I'll see you in San Francisco and let you know, Baron. I've got some things i got to do now. I, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Tell Speedy when he wakes up that I've gone back to the ranch for something. All right, Lucky. Mr. Cassidy. The boy, he is not here. What have you done with him? He preferred to be associated with me. You see, he did not trust you. You change your mind too often. You are not fooling anybody, Baron. horses out of here, Warlock, and this one and that one. What about these other horses? We'll leave them here in the barn with our guest. Have two of the boys stay here until this job is finished. You mean you're gonna let this barn burn down? That's exactly what I mean. I've known a lot of vile human beings, but you're the worst. You'll hang for this, you know. Well, you won't be alive to give any evidence, Mr. Cassidy.
Where's Lucky? I don't know. You smell smoke? Yeah, come on. Get out of here. The barn's on fire. Hey, Baron, tell these men who I am. They know who you are. Hey, what is this? Those are our horses. There's Warlock. What have you done with Speedy? Where did you see him last? Left him in the hayloft back at the barn. Well, then he's accounted for. A oh, Baron. So that's why you wanted to get me away. So you could rustle those horses. You can have a share in our profits if you help us get them safely through to the junction. That is, if you're smart. Why, you dirty double-crosser. Hey, give me your weed. All right, get moving. the hay and it looked like lucky driving hmm. Whoa. what are you doing out here with a load of hay this time of the morning lucky and where are the horses with the boys. I'm taking this load of hay down to the down to the feeding pens. Give them some feed on the train. Well, we'll just ride down the road a piece with you, Lucky. That's a right smart idea, Marshal. Thanks for the company. Get up there!
and give them a hand? No, it's their own funeral. Take Warlock out there and hide him. Simmons, you go with him. All right, go ahead. Aren't you with Lucky? Lucky? Where is he? He's on up ahead driving the hayrick. Well, if Lucky's on ahead, the Baron must be too. Come on, Speedy. <laughs> I'm sure glad you got off of there, Lucky. That was a close one. Sure, sorry about falling down on the job getting those horses through, Bob. Oh, never mind the horses. Let's get you back to the ranch. Take it easy now. But I 
I've still got time to get the horses up to auction. Well, uh, I'm not going back east, Lucky. I decided to stay on the ranch. I kind of like it here. I never did much favor the idea of going east myself. You see, if the Baron had got those two cards, he'd have had a straight flush. Now, do you understand? Sure, I understand. Good. But why did you throw away that other ace? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs>